is election day, and you get to make the call. New Jersey picks a state assembly, Philadelphia picks a mayor, and Delaware County makes a choice that could lead to a shift in power. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live at one of the polling places, Radnor High School. Anyone in line yet, Trang? Not yet, but some workers have shown up, so they're preparing to open these doors very shortly. And here in Delaware County, this is a very important election. They'll not only be picking three new council members, but they could actually elect a Democratic majority on council for the first time in county history. Democratic leaders in Delco are hoping to switch the county council from red to blue for the first time ever. I believe that it's going to be a very historic night. Republicans currently have a 3-2 edge, but the three seats currently held by Republicans are up for grabs. Democrats Kevin Madden and Brian Zydek won the other two seats in 2017, which was also a first for their party. Now, if just one of the Democrats running today wins a seat, they will control county council for the first time in history. Tom McGarrigal, Delaware County Republican Party chair, admits the registration numbers are working against them, but he remains optimistic. It's not the same Republican Party it was in 1980 or 2000, but uh, we feel good about this election. Our we have you know superior candidates. The Republican County Council candidates are Kelly Colvin, Michael Morgan, and James Wraith. The Democrats running are all women, Christine Ruther, Elaine Schaefer, and Monica Taylor. Swarthmer College political science professor Ben Berger says either way, this election is one to watch. Because the Democrats want win even one of the three seats, they will control county council for the first time ever. And if the Republicans retain all three seats, they will have uh, pulled off a historic upset. Delaware County is a historically Republican county, but with this latest voter registration, they have 30,000 more registered Democrats than Republicans. So this is all going to come down to turnout and who shows up at the polls. For now, we're live from Radnor High School. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Janelle and Jim, back to you. Well, Trang, before we let you go, we want to welcome you back from your maternity leave. Yes, so great to Thank have you, you. back, Trang. <laughs>